video is going to show you how to count the surfaces, question which is common in all design exams. So let's start. How many surfaces does the object contain? So we have to count the surfaces which is on the front, back, top, bottom, right and left on all the six sides. From all the six sides. So let's start from the front. The front surfaces are here it is 1. Then the slant 1 of course it's a front surface 2. Then this one it faces front so 3. Then this one it faces front so 4. So total 4 surfaces at the front. Then the back. Back this full one from here to this full one we have to take it as a single surface. So one then this one from the back it's two. So the back side surfaces are one and two. Top surfaces one two. So two top surfaces then the bottom. Bottom, if you look from the bottom, there is only single surface. So, it's 1. Bottom surface, 1. Then the right surface, it's 1. Only single surface from the right. Then the left. From the left. From the left, this 1, it's 1. Then here the middle part, let's count it as 2. Then this 1, it's 3. From the left side, third surface. Then from the left surface, this one, it's 4. Then the slanting one, of course, this from the left, it's 5. The slanting surface, from the left, it will be 5. So, the left surfaces are here, 1, 2, 3. Then this one, it's 4. Then this it's 5. So total there are 15 surfaces. Let's see another easy question of counting surfaces. Here the front surface. It's 1, then this one it's 2, then the slant 1, this full slant 1, we have to count it as third surface. So the front surfaces are 3. From the back, it's given that the surface that is not visible is flat 1. So here this full 1, this entire 1. From the back, it's one surface. Then this one, the down part, it's two. We have to take it as second surface. So two surfaces from the back. This lengthy one, long one, it's one. Then this short one at the back, it's second surface. So two surfaces from the back. Then the top surface top it's 1 then this one from the top we have to take it as 2 then from the top this part it's a surface we have to take it as 3 so the top 3 surfaces top surfaces are this part the rectangular part 1 this rectangular part 2 then this one it's 3 then the bottom one, bottom which is not visible, so it's a flat one, we have to count it as a single surface. So, bottom it's single one. Then from the right side, from the right side this one, it's one. Then the small one, let's take it as two. Then the small part, it's three. So, three right surfaces. And here in this uh, figure, the right and the left side are symmetry. So left side also, it's going to be 3. This one, it's 1. Then from the left, 
this part which is similar like this let's take it as 2 then this one which is same like this one it's 3 so the right and the left symmetry has a symmetry right three surfaces and the left also three surfaces total it's 15 surfaces this figure the front and the back are symmetry right and left are symmetry so the front surfaces are here one two then this three as the right and the left symmetry like this we have here on the left also so this front surface also we have to calculate let's take it as four so the front surfaces are one two three four and as the front and the back symmetry, back also four surfaces. That's here one. This one it's one. Then the upper part full it's two. Then this part it's three. It's three. Then in the slanting one on the left side it's four. So four back surfaces. Then the right surfaces. Right and the left are symmetry. Let's calculate the right surfaces. 1, then it's 2, it's 3. The right surfaces are 3 surfaces. Then the left, as it is symmetry, left also 3. That is here 1, this is 1, 1. And this 2. And this 1, it's 3. So 3 left surfaces. Top surfaces 1, 2, 3. In this, if this slanting part is not there, then we can take it as one surface. As this part is there, it separates, this edge separates. So this is a separate surface, this separate and this another surface. So total 3 surfaces here and in the right side 3 surfaces here. The same like this we have on the left. So the left, uh, left side also, there will be three surfaces like this, which we can count it as four here. Then uh, that is one and four is similar. Like two, here is the slanting part. Let's take it as five, surface five. Then like this three, we have here six. So right side, three top surface, same like this on the left, three. So 6, then the top surface 7, this slanting we have to take it as, as top surface which is 8, then this 9, then this slanting part which will be counted in as top surface. So this slanting part uh, which will be the 10, top surface 10, then this one 11. So total there are 11 top surfaces which is 3 like this on the right side then 3 on the left so 6 then 7, 8, 9 and then the slanting part 10 this one 11 so total 11 top surfaces then the bottom surfaces this part from the bottom it's 1 then this part from the bottom it's 2 then this part it's 3 so 3 bottom surfaces